Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a tutor at Chegg.com. Today we're going to talk about a locus of points in geometry. A locus of points can be any set of points that satisfy a given set of descriptions. So in this case, we're going to talk about five specific theorems that deal with um, a locus of points. So the first one says that if I have a point and we want to talk about all the points that are the same distance away from that point, that would refer to a circle. So everywhere along the circumference of the circle is equidistance from point P, and that would be the locus of points, would be the equation for the circle. For a locus of points that are parallel and equidistance from line L, we're going to be looking for two lines that are the same distance from L, either above or below the line. The third theorem states that if I have two points, all the points that are along the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from the points. The fourth theorem says that if I have two lines, the line that is in between them and also parallel to them will be equidistant from the two given lines. The four fifth locus says that if I have two intersecting lines, a pair of bisectors that bisect the angles will be equidistant from line one and line two in this case. So these are specific ones that meet a, a set of given descriptions, but do remember that a locus of points is any set of points that meets the descriptions that are given. So we could be looking at a very wide range of problems that deal with a locus of points in geometry. So what we're going to look at today is for specific problems that deal with locus of points and that can give us a sort of overview of what we're kind of looking for. So for the first thing that you see, it says we need the locus of points that are equidistant from the points 5, negative 5, 8, and 7, 8. Now the first thing you might notice is that the y values are the same for these two points. So what I like to do to help me out is I like to draw a picture. So I'm going to draw a very rough sketch of a coordinate plane. Okay. And what I want to think about is where the points negative 5, 8 and 7, 8 are. I know that at 8 on the y-axis, these two points exist. At negative 5 on the x-axis, I have the first point. Okay, in this location, this is B negative 5, 8. And then the other point is, like I said, this is a very rough sketch, would be at 7 on the x-axis. So this would be the second point. Now, we know from the previous page that a set of points that's equidistant from these two points would be a perpendicular bisector that ran between the two points. So what we have to figure out is what is the midpoint between negative 5 and 7? So to do that, we add to figure out the difference. So this is 5 units away from 0, and this one's 7 units. So we have a total distance of 12. That means that the midpoint is 6 units away from either negative 5 or 7. And 6 units away from that would be at negative 1. Excuse me, positive 1. So at positive 1, 8, at positive 1, 8, we would have the midpoint. That means the perpendicular bisector would be along this, oh, excuse me, along this line here. This is pretty crooked. Okay. So that would be the perpendicular bisector between the two points. And we know the locus of points is on this perpendicular bisector. To figure out the equation, we know that any vertical line has an equation of x equals a number. And in this case, because x is negative 1, the locus of points is the equation that is satisfied by x equals negative 1. We need the locus of points that is equidistant from two sides of an angle. So if I have an angle, like I said, I always like to draw a picture because it gives me a good idea of what's going on. We are looking for a locus of points that is the same distance from the two sides. Well, in order that for happen, I need a ray that's between the two sides, that's the same distance from the two sides. So that'll make the angles the same. If you recall, the ray 
that cuts an angle in half is called the angle bisector. So the lawn, the ray, that cuts an angle in half would be equidistant from the two sides of an angle. Therefore, the locus of points in the plane that's equidistant from the two sides of an angle is an angle bisector. What is the equation of the locus of points five units from the origin? Well, if I have a graph and I need a set of points that is the same distance from this, I will have a circle. This was the first theorem that we discussed. So this circle would have a radius of 5. And if we recall, the equation of a circle with a radius of 5 would be x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, which is 25. So the equation of a circle would provide us this circumference, which is a set of points that is equidistant from the center of the circle at the origin with a radius of 5. So now we need to figure out the equation of a locus of points that's 10 units away from the y-axis. So I'm going to draw a very rough sketch of a graph again with the y-axis and the x-axis. So if I want something that's 10 units away, it needs to be both 10 units away to the right and 10 units away to the left. And then we need to figure out the equation of a line that's 10 units away on the right, where x equals 10, and that would be the equation. And then we need to figure out the equation of a um, line on the left that's 10 units away from the y-axis, and that would be x equals negative 10. So the two equations that satisfy this are x equals 10. Oops, let me rewrite that. Not 70, but 10. And x equals negative 10. Okay, so what I've provided you today is a very good um, description of four types of problems that you might see in association with uh, a locus of points. So do remember that um, you could see circles, you could see equation of lines, you could even see angle bisector. There are a wide variety of these problems that are associated with um, a locus of points. But a good reminder is that you can always refer back to those theorems and think about what you might see. If you would like to know more about a locus of points, please message me at the following website. Thank you.